All right, we're back on the build here. In this video, we are going to talk about and modify the front radiator so that it mounts with some additional cushioning and also modify it so that front fan shroud, once I fabricate it up, will attach to it. Uh, but before we get into the modifications, uh, last video we ended with a discussion on the front wheels and the front wheels were actually just too wide and, and there's actually a picture of those. Those are going back to the retailer on Monday. Uh, these are the new tires. This is the next two sizes smaller uh, for the Michelin run flats. I would have preferred a size between these and the ones I bought, but the, this is all that is available. So you can see there is very little poke at zero camber. And this has 1.5 degree camber. I'll probably back that off to about one degree. And there's no poke. You know, these, I actually have the nose of the car on and these wheels fit nicely under the front fenders. Uh, also at, if I sit, you know, I centered this one in the wheel well, I get about four and a quarter inches of ride height. So that's about as best I could do with this size tire. The other tire you know, was about uh, four and a half inches ride height uh, centered, but then the tops of the wheels touched the tops of the fender, so I would have had to, had to grind those out and stuff. So all in all, I think this is a decent choice. Okay, and the purpose of this video, uh, we're gonna just take a peek here. So this is the, the, the radiator as it's delivered by RCR. And I mentioned in the last video, uh, we've got some holes here in the front compartment and typically what you do is you put a small grommet rubber grommet in here you drill a hole and then you bolt it together and the grommet provides a little insulation uh, from the vibration of the chassis uh, but in reality that approach is bare minimal and I'm going to put this fan shroud and attach that to the radiator and that weighs about 13 pounds and then I'll attach a condenser which weighs you know about a pound or a pound and a half so I want to modify these brackets so that I can get much better much better uh, insulation uh, to prevent damage to the radiator based on the vibration going through the chassis okay so the first thing I'm going to do is actually cut these tabs off and then I'll give you a sense for what the modification is like. Okay, we're going to start cutting the sides, uh, those side brackets off the radiator. I like to protect the areas, not to scuff them up with some masking tape. Also, because we're generating a, a bunch of aluminum dust, I'll, I'll close off the inlet and outlet tubes. And actually, I'll probably leave it like that for the remainder of the build until I put the hoses on. You don't really want dust and dirt collecting inside the radiator. Okay, well, here's a little work in process. Uh, this is the approach. I mean, basically, I cut a slit right above the weld on both sides, and I bent this tab back, and then I, I ground with the Dremel wheel right along, right along the weld, being careful not to puncture or intrude on the on the body of the radiator and you can see I got a clean break so uh, so slow going but I'll do the rest of it and then we'll take a look all right well this side came out good I got those two cut away I actually went down in the basement and I've got this old tool it's actually made in France of all places this uh, was my dad's uh, it's a tin snip and it just cut this away really nice now I'll just bend this out and then grind these down with the Dremel so this is speeding things up. Okay, we got those side brackets off and came out great. So able to grind out each edge. And I've just got to grind these welds down, which isn't a big deal, but uh, you know, the blade held steady. I didn't, you know, it didn't run away and scrape everything up. So this is great. Okay, so a mere four hours later, I've got the radiator cleaned up and you know, basically it took about it took about 15 minutes to cut away that side bracket and then another 15 minutes to to 
grind down and clean up these welds. You know, you can see a little bit of residue left, but I may clean it up a little more. But anyway, here's the game plan. So, you know, the reason I'm doing this is, you know, I mentioned, you know, the way the, the radiator ships, you know, it's got that 16th inch aluminum plate welded on the side of the radiator. And you use some, you know, very thin grommets and there's not a lot of rubber there. And that rubber is supposed to isolate the radiator from shaking itself apart. And a lot of builders, you know, have come up with various ways to add a little more isolation than the factory provides. You know, I, I think that factory setup is is probably geared for racing and you know for racing you don't need a fan shroud and and i, I guess it, it works okay but once again we're building a street car here so i wanted to approach this a little different so what i found online i found these silicone high temp rubber uh, exhaust gaskets these are actually for exhaust system uh, but what i'd like to do is make a bracket that's inboard a little bit and then i'll, I'll bolt this to the side panel on the front compartment and then you basically sandwich you know sandwich the bracket between the halves and i'll have eight of these so you know the the pressure of the rubber squeezing on the bracket really is going to hold this in place and and absorb uh you know absorb a lot more shock you can see the thickness of the rubber you know through the through the top half so anyway uh i've got a couple pieces of aluminum I'm going to mill these up, and once I mill them up, then I'll show you how it all goes together. All right, here's a little work in process with regard to the radiator brackets. So I started with a 3 8 inch uh, aluminum plate. I ground it down to a tenth of an inch or thereabouts, and now I'm going to grind out the back of these to make room for the rubber grommets. All right, well, we got the uh, brackets for the most part finished here. Uh, let's take a look at them. I mean, yeah, I, I milled them down to about a tenth of an inch. This was a 3 8 inch piece of aluminum bar. You know, the more I thought about this, uh, I could have used a 16 gauge aluminum and about an hour uh, bent up two of these uh, with a brake. I don't actually have a metal brake. I mean, they're cheap enough. You can get one from from Harbor Freight for about 60 bucks. But anyway, you know, you know, I love using the mill, so I figured I'd just mill them up. So many hours later, I've got two symmetrical pieces, and I think they came out pretty good. Got a little bit of blue dye left on them. Uh, but anyway, here's the you know here's the idea. They give me about a about a quarter inch more clearance than the flat piece of aluminum that was welded on the stock radiator and you know here's our our muffler hanger or bushing and you can see it'll line up really well this one I happen to sand down a little bit I just wanted to see if they were sandable because I may have to adjust them a little bit to squeeze them into the front compartment compartment excuse me and they they sand up really nice okay so you know, I think uh, I've taken this pretty far at this point. Uh, let's take a look at how it looks like in the front compartment, and then we'll call it a wrap. Let's take a look at those brackets now that the radiator and the mocked up fan shroud is in place. And, you know, you can see now I've got quite a bit of room uh, between the compartment wall and now the new bracket, the inboard bracket. Uh, that'll be welded on the radiator so they look they look really good plenty of room for those for those muffler hangers or or hard rubber bushings i think this is going to work out really well uh here's a here's a look at the front so i also have plenty of room here so i'll put the rubber bushings here and then i'll also make a mount hanging off of here for the Condenser so the condenser will be insulated from the chassis vibration as well Okay, uh, I was planning on getting these welded up and Then move along to fabricate the fan shroud um, And I really need to go to the welder for both these brackets on the fan shroud and just due to the coronavirus uh, Joel K staying put I am NOT going out except to the pharmacy and the food store 
just going to do my part to keep everybody safe. And, uh, you know, look, I, I wish everybody uh, a safe journey over the next weeks and months. Uh, this is certainly unprecedented, and, and I hope everybody uh, gets through it uh, healthy. And uh, we'll all celebrate later in the spring or summer with our freedom. All right, there's a, uh, there's a final view of the Super Light Coupe. Thanks for watching. Take care.